Hello and welcome back to Factorio Fix It. My name's Nicky Bruce and let's get cracking. Today we're going to play a factory from Gamkaroo. Uh, first things first, that is a smart furnace. This is going to be good. Uh, oh shit. We've got some speed as well. Got some speed. I feel the need. I need for speed. Nice, okay, so packed. Wow, this is this is going to be hardcore. Um so let's have a look see here. Now I wonder what here is controlling. Okay, so that's that. That's that. Where is the control circuit then? Cause this smart furnace, right, the way it works is uh Depending on do these oh, okay. How does that oh green wise? Okay. Okay, so I'm just puzzling this out right now. And uh, you can see the green wires uh, they control basically two thousand um, yeah, two thousand uh, copper ore across the their little area. You can see that that one's got four and this one's got four. I dare say if we look down here that would have the same. Now, that, uh, okay, we've got a bit of a railway unloading all of that. Nice. Very nice. We've got to find the control circuit. So that means we're going to have to move into the factory proper. Now, this is insane. Yeah, okay. So this factory runs on a bit of a burst philosophy. You'll notice that there's not really a huge amount of resources sitting around. Especially not in so far as like green circuits. These are all set to 600. Okay, that's 600. These are 400. I just say this is 200. Yep, okay. So this, um, yeah, wow. Let's check that out. Boom shakalaka. Uh, <laughs> woof. That's incredible. Uh, so as more circuits are needed. You can see that our production numbers... <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> 2,000 green circuits a minute. Back the truck up. That is huge and awesome at the same time. I think Gamkaroo is, is taking the cake right now. It's been a little while since I've been awed and this factory is... Uh, okay. Um, yeah, this factory is doing it for me. So right now... Oh, okay, I see. So two stations, right, run off, um, okay, so this central bus is, yeah, okay, so we got, so, yeah, we've got two smart furnaces, oh, is there a third smart furnace, maybe, that's for steel, <laughs> okay, so two smart furnaces feeding this little chip factory, and then a third smart furnace running the, uh, running the steel production, that's awesome. Uh, we've got the, the research cluster here, nice, pretty much automation of everything using modular factories, that's really nice. Um, I still haven't found that control unit, so I'd really, really like to get a look at that. Now, one thing I must say I'd probably be disappointed with is the processing unit speed, because that's only 120. You know, seeing spike, uh, like burst production of 2k, uh, green circuits a minute. I would have expected those numbers to be a little higher. Um, and I'll, I would have liked to see more red circuit production as well. Because uh, those numbers aren't terribly impressive. Uh, maybe we can... It's, it's based heavily around burst uh, production. Uh, which is cool. Um, but I'd like to see higher burst numbers. Now, oh, okay, there's a fish... Uh... Oh, okay, it's a modified fish... Uh... Red circuit ring. I wonder where uh, where Gamkaru actually spawned. I feel like he's moved. Double mine, iron mine, central station. Maybe, maybe that's it over there. Never mind. Let's have a look here. Two point six k. Solar panels, that's amazing. Um, that's really, really strong. Oops, I need to turn that back on. That's why no one can see anything. 
Uh, so yeah, let's go and see if we can find this control circuit, because it's got to be somewhere. It's got to be somewhere. If you spot it, sing out. Because somewhere there's a circuit that controls what is building when. Now this... Okay, this is directly um, controlled by... Um, green inserters, and it's actually expandable, you could actually run it a bit further if you needed to, which is quite nice, uh, I like that. Where on earth could that little control circuit be? I wonder. And I like that uh, this factory really isn't wasting terribly ma many resources, like there's, there's not a lot sitting around, and it's run pretty much entirely off um, logistics bots. Like, there's a few, um, well, for example, copper and, and everything is still run uh, off that, off a belt, but for the majority, things are moved by logistics bots, and it's pretty effective, actually. Just throw some lights around. I'd love, I'd really like to know where that control circuit is. Oh, this this map almost needs a map. Like, uh, you'll find this here and, and you'll find that here. That's always the issue with big, um, big factories is when you come in cold like I do, uh, finding things is um, a bit of an issue sometimes. But let's just light the joint up. So we've got good, um, good iron, uh, sorry, good oil production. Uh, that's all very strong. Yeah, it's very nice. Very, very nice overall. And really, there's not much to say here. Whoa, here we go. Right, okay. Work less than 10. Oh, okay, so that, that actually holds off for a pretty long time before it bursts... Uh, Bursts a whole heap of um, gear wheels onto the tracks. Uh, well that's fair enough. You know. well, let's have a look at research. Rocket defense is there to be done. Let's just grab something hideously expensive. Is there anything? Okay, so none of that's been done yet. Let's kick this thing into gear and see what happens. Aha! Found it! Yep, okay. So Gamkaru has used um, RK84's uh, design. Uh, I, I did cover this um, smart furnace factory. And it is very, very, very smart. Uh, if you want to have a look at it, go and um, just look up the smart uh, furnace uh, tutorial. And basically what this does, right, is this just counts um, how many uh, plate is in your thing. So, for example, uh, yeah, okay. So when this is equal to 1, and there's less than 9,000 in, uh, in the network, it'll put it in. Now, when uh, it hits a certain milestone, so for example 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, right the way up to 10,000, it'll kick the uh, the thing out and actually turn off uh, one line of furnaces and it'll do that because it will detect uh, one a uh, one pickaxe in the system you can see that there's two uh, it'll detect one and that um, is a signal up there for um, only one row so one row will be uh, work less than one sorry work less than two one row will be work less than two three one row will be work less than four, um, onwards and upwards, um, meaning that as you uh, get lower, okay, as these get lower, you get more and more uh, lines, furnace lines being added, which turns into more and more um, production capacity. So as the drain increases, you can see here that we've got 6.3 copper. Um, as the drain increases, your production capacity will actually go up to suit. And I think if we watch for long enough, we'll actually see that our 
our copper will duck below six and that will actually kick on another line of furnaces. So there's 6.1. There we go, you can see how this kicked on. So at 5.9. So you can see that we got a bit of a, a production issue. Um, the factory is bursting um, its speed way too fast. Now up here you can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five on, one line off and three on. Now that is because that we have 5.7 um, copper. So we can see that the system's like, well, we need more copper. Let's, let's up the production capacity. Let's get it going. Let's get it cracking. So it'll add more and more lines. So allowing more and more of these little green inserters to put copper ore into the furnace. And a furnace just does whatever it's told. So if it's told to uh, make copper plate, it will. So uh, yeah, very, very cool. Very, very nice. I like that. I like it a lot. And uh, I think that for, for my opinion, uh, the smart furnace is possibly the invention of the year. Uh, maybe the invention um, for the game. It, it's just blows, it blows me away the complexity, but the simplicity of the idea. Um, and basically the simplicity was all based around if you need more, it gives you more. Uh, so if the fire starts to go out, it'll stoke the fire. And because there's two of them, they work uh, together. If we look at the production capacity, you can see that it's still at, at 3k a minute. Now, and this is variable. So this rate, it isn't going to stay at 3k per minute. It'll fluctuate depending on what we need. I'm just having a quick look. You can see that we're down to 4.7. So another line will have flicked on here. And we've actually got another line of um, iron as well. Now, if we wanted to, what we could do is we could actually um, reduce the susceptibility of this system to those fluctuations just by adding more um, capacity here. So if we took this to 200 a box, for example, oops, whoa, 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 whoa. what happened there? So if we took this to 200 a box, for example, okay, this is just going to change the dynamic of the factory a little bit and just mean that we need, um, we're going to have just a, a little bit more buffer. Um, you know, by the same token, if you lift this to 500, um, the same effect, you just have more resources just sitting around doing nothing. So we'll do the same up here and then we'll do the same with the copper. Oops. So 200, 200, 200. And I'm just looking down on the right under filters, you can see that uh, it changes from 50 to uh, 200 when I click it. So that's just what I'm looking at to making sure that the instructions are copied across OK. Um, back before when I swore that I noticed that it had added plastic to the freaking thing. So uh, that was no good. Uh, you can see uh, logistics robots, they're like, you, you put the order in, it's like, I got it. And even though you might not want it, it goes and gets it for you anyway. So over here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to up this to um, to 400. And the reason being is we just need a little bit more inertia in our copper plates. This factory is really, really strong on, on its burst production. So we need a little bit of um, resistance to that uh, resistance to that burst by having just more in storage, basically. And having them sit in requester chests actually takes them out of the um, out of the system, so you don't have um, things sitting around. Uh, sorry, uh, let me rephrase that. So you don't, it won't register it in the um, storage. So for example, we've got 2.1k, but we've probably got a thousand sitting in storage right now. So it won't count that thousand that's sitting here in the requesters. It's only in storage, in active providers and in passive providers. Obviously, active providers, uh, you're going to see that um, they they get moved pretty quickly. And you can see that our copper is dipping dramatically, trying to keep up here. Now, where's the biggest users? This is a really, really beautiful factory. Now what I might actually do, is I might actually just, can I cancel it? I 
Can't cancel it. Bugger. We'll just have to hang around for a moment and wait for this to finish up. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, but anyway. Let's head over to the research division and see how things are going over in Yar. Oh. So that's what's gone wrong. We have no uh, alien artifacts. Well, no time like the present. Let's go uh, test the uh, offensive capabilities of uh, this little factory. Or not so little factory. Uh, actually, while we're out playing uh, Hook, we'll, uh, it'll give everything a chance to uh, replenish. Okay. I think uh, I think there's some good bases up there. Let's go for a wander. 36 should be enough, I'm thinking. Wait, keep running. Okay, 14. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe. I might have the uh, power. I might not too. We're uh, we're about for now. The good news is I can run away. No, we got the power. Whoa, well, we're quick. <laughs> yeah, die. Wait, I said die. Wow, that's got a lot of artifacts in it. So this should keep us out of trouble and allow us to... Uh, oh, biter. That should keep us out of trouble. Uh, 55 of them, that's 550. That's enough to finish at least that research. Now we see the, uh, oh, the iron mines. Oh, this is on peaceful. There you go. Hell of a factory to have on peaceful. Okay, lots of solar panels. Head back to factory. Now here's some storage. So that's good news. So we can just go better bing, better boom. And if that's set up the way I think it's set up, Oh yeah. Rock on. So we'll head down here quickly. Here they come. Now these have both got speed modules in them. That's an interesting choice. Because normally I'd advise uh, having yeah, normally I'd advise having a productivity module set, because that way you get to get them for free and you don't actually have to have millions and millions of artifacts to finish the game. Um, so something I'll do is I'll just uh, turn this one off. Oop, there goes my destroy bots. I was thinking, why are the logistics bots blowing up on me? What is going on? Now the question is, do we have them in the system somewhere? Standing. There's three. Do we have a fourth? Okay, we'll turn off the research now. I'll turn that off as well. We don't need them. Oi. One, two, three, and four. We need just one more. One more would be Bonza. Okay. So this is normally the way I'd suggest to do it, because this way you get uh, you get stuff for free, and uh, I like stuff for free. Yep, yeah, this is all very very nice. Now let's have a look and see what's happening here. The easiest way of looking actually would be down here at the switch. So you can see that uh, this means flat out. Okay, this means that we have less than two thousand um, copper. So it's requesting every single furnace that it can at the moment. Now I'm just going to let this uh, go for a moment. I'm going to you know, continue to potter around the factory and I hope to show you guys what's, uh, what happens here. Um, so this video is probably going to go for 30 minutes, I would say, in the end. Because uh, once, uh, once all of these buffer up, then it will start to tip over into the, um, 
can see that our, our lines have stopped now, so these are all buffering up quite nicely. Our production is fluctuating 3,000 a minute, which is pretty good. Happy with that. So this is at 6.1 already. So this, uh, the iron will start to slow down, which is going to allow the copper to speed up. And uh, what I'll do is once all of this um, kind of gets to where it needs to be, I'm going to turn it back on again, and I'm going to research some more stuff. And hopefully show you guys um, just how much um, of a change this is going to mean. And just by you know adding a couple of K of storage, of additional buffer storage, you're going to allow the factory to work a little bit smoother. And you're going to allow the factory to work for a bit of a longer time before it has to stop. and Or before it hits the limiting factor, which in this case is actually our smelting speed. Our smelting speed is nowhere near fast enough to actually keep up with everything. You can see now our iron is really starting to go somewhere. So you can see the numbers are starting to drop off, but the copper is starting to hit its straps. So you can see here this line, see how it's got stuff in the provider chest? It's got iron plate and copper plate. And that's because this used to be a, a iron line, you know, moments before, and it just flicked over to copper now. And very shortly this is actually going to change over as well. See 7.7, 7.8. It's um, yeah, it's a lot of resources, very very fast. So you can see now the copper plate is just actually starting to make its way onto the screen. So there you go. Now you can see that we've got over 8k. Now this line here is going to flick over very shortly to being copper. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe I'll lie. Okay, so this is kind of like a base, um, oh, okay, I think I, I, well, it flicked over, it just flicked over at, uh, a bit later than I thought it would. Oh, okay, it would have had to clear five of these before it would let it actually flick over. That's why. So, um, this, I think, is at like a base level production, so there'll always be five um, furnaces just running along, just doing its thing. Um, you can see now that we've got 2.7, 2.8, 2 2.9 on the clock, and we're running at 4.3k per minute. That is huge, absolutely huge production right now. And I think that, uh, well, actually, why is there being, why is there copper? Cable ring used. Where's it being used to? Yeah, okay, it's just a bit of gradual use here. Everything's just buffering up again, I think. Well, that is, um, yeah, a really, really nice factory. Um, Gab Karu can, you can be proud of that. Yeah, okay. So these all need one alien artifact to work. Now where is speed three? So the thing about the late game is you need to do a lot of killing. Hey look, I am faster than a train. Dun, 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 oh, don't get run over. Oh, okay. So it un unloads over there and then it comes over here and unloads again. So that everything stays full. But you can see that we're starting to have issues with our copper. Like our copper ore is really, really low. And these, yeah, you can see that these signals... Heck, that's not right. Yeah, okay. So you can see the signals are, they're really low over here. So we're starting to run into an additional problem where our inserters aren't fast enough to keep up either. 
So to solve that, I would actually just create a bigger V. Um, we'll have it run out to here and here, add a couple of extra inserters so that you can get more iron ore uh, into these boxes quicker. And, well, how would I do it? Basically, I would just let them run, rather than restricting how many, um, yeah, how much is in, you know, like a little group of four, I would just let it go and just let them fill up. Because over time, you know, you do want that effect of having lots and lots in storage so that when it does come time to, you know, really burst a lot of production quickly, um, it's not so much of an issue. So you can see now that the furnace is starting to turn off and our production capacity is back down again. Um, <laughs> copper wire is off the charts, 10k, yikes. I think that this uh, this is probably where I'll, I'll stop the video. Uh, it's been really, really cool. This um, factory, impressive, it's blown me away. And uh, it's been a little while since I've been truly, truly blown away by a factory. So well done to Gamkaru, he's, um, yeah, a very, very good factory. Now, um, if you'd like to send me your factory, I'd love to have a play at it. It doesn't have to be as good or as advanced as this. You know, this is a pretty rare factory, uh, to be honest. Uh, I've done, shit, over 100 of these now, and, uh, well, actually, it might be closing in on 100. I'll have to count when I get internet. And, I'm, yeah, I've, I've been really impressed with this one. So... After a hundred, yeah, I've, I've only really encountered one or two factories like this where it's been absolutely amazing how, how good um, the design is and how chunky everything has been made. And Really, uh, the majority of factories are they're, they're coming along. I don't get too many um, crappy newbie factories. When I say crappy, I mean, you know, inexperienced. Inexperienced is the word I'm looking for. I, I don't get too many of them anymore, and it's just a little bit of a shame, actually. Um, it goes to show that... Oh, I'm nearly quicker than the train. Uh, it goes to show that the community is really learning when it comes time uh, to actually build a factory. Most people know how to do it these days, which is good. Um, I can only hope that I'm having a positive effect. So, uh, without further ado, I am going to call it quits here. I'm going to set off some research because you know that's awesome and we're gonna watch everything just go kaboom into the gutter again the uh, the 400 here will help maintain us though while we um, really start up the uh, the furnace <laughs> so to speak we'll start the fires and we'll just uh, we'll just watch this work for a moment as you'll see these numbers start to swing around and the copper will start to increase again as uh, as the numbers get lower. So we'll sit here on this line. This line should activate very shortly. There it is. So that's when it ducked below 6k. Just for a moment and it was long enough to go, okay, well we need another line. So threw it on. And we've got uh, everything working. As you can see that there's still, you know, 390 odd in these chests and we're going to be losing um, the plates out of storage so the, the rate at which we lose um, the plates in storage is the same it's just that we're going to have a little bit hidden up our sleeve which means that that, that peak in that trough is going to be ironed out a little bit so I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave you here uh, and I'll see you in the next episode <laughs>